Growing up can sometimes be very tough. And now a new government survey shows girls have it even harder than boys when it comes to being bullied. It finds girls are twice as likely to be the victims of cyberbullying as boys, with two in ten girls reporting they were bullied online last year, compared with one in ten boys. It's so bad, the popular app After School, which lets teenagers post comments and images anonymously, has taken steps to protect children online. It now has a staff completely dedicated to reviewing each post before it is published. But Catherine, you say, you know what, it was bad before this for some kids. It's going to make no difference. It's one app, that's all it is. You don't even need the internet at all to be bullied. I was bullied, I'd have, this one girl would always come up to me at lunch and tell me to eat my lunch on the floor so she could sit down. And I think it's, oh. it's girls. Boys never did that to me either. Boys just, you know, ignored me. So I think a lot of it is girls bullying other girls too. I think mm. that's what a lot of it is more than boys bullying girls. But girls always have it worse. There's still the whole rest of the internet and they're still being able to tell someone to eat their lunch. Do you think floor. maybe if you had seen Star Wars, people wouldn't have bullied you? I don't think that was the problem. I think it was my mullet. Just check. Yeah, now but she's that getting bullied now. So. Yeah. <laughs> but what no. bullying? I mean, that's a different type of bullying. When you talk about this cyberbullying, you don't have to put a face. You don't have to do yeah. it in person. I mean, that was different. This, as I understand it, is can be much more harsh and difficult for these teenagers to deal with. This is one app, though. There's still the whole rest of the internet to be anonymous and bully somebody yeah. if you want to. Yeah. Wow. But you're right. There, there's a thing called the online disinhibition effect, which basically means that if you're not talking to someone face to face, you're more likely to be yeah. a jerk, and and that's what well, we're seeing. Well, that's in here. life, so, period. No, absolutely. But that's what we're seeing online, and then you add anonymity on top of that, yeah. and it's just going to increase that effect. You know, you don't have to be a parent to understand. You just have to have once been a child to understand yeah. that it hurts. That those words hurt. And, and they can last a long time. And now with the internet, they can last forever, potentially. 55% of those who were asked in the survey that was done by the Department of Health, and they talked with 120,000 15 year olds. That is an enormous study on this topic. 55% said that they had been bullied in some form over the past two months. That's a lot of hate moving around. And I don't think it's just young kids. I mean, I think it's definitely escalated with the rise of social media and young girls. But also, as Andy mentions, I think it, people in general just becoming more mean. Yeah. I spoke Why to do you one think woman, that is? Because I hear this well, from police officers who talk about road rage. Because you can be, right? You, you can have that anonymity if you want it. But I was talking to a woman who polled millennials. And she said, you remember before, like if you were going to lie to your best friend and go to the mall mm -hmm. with another girl, it was not likely you would get caught, maybe at the pizza shop if someone saw you. Now. Everyone's watching what everyone else is doing on social media. So girls are saying, I thought you weren't friends with her. You said something negative Ooh. about her, but you posted a picture on your Instagram about her, and you liked her photo. How dare you like her photo? I thought we were friends. And it's just causing meltdowns with young oh. girls, and, then, and it's making them meaner. And then there's the idea of how they're dealing with it, right? So there's people like Catherine who says you were the victim of bullying when you were young. It appears to have made you a very strong, self-confident woman, <laughs> but Actually. it doesn't always end up that way, and that's what's really scary when Harris talks about being a parent, is uh, this survey showed one in ten of these teenagers had tried cannabis. Three in five had drank in a full alcoholic beverage. Wow. That's, that's a big concern.